Hi, it's Dougie Wood. And in today's session, we're going to take a look at how we can display FAQs or frequently asked questions inside of our SharePoint Online site. Now, there's a couple of different ways that we can approach this. I'm going to be showing you three really simple ways that we can display FAQs. Um, now, the first option will be using a out-of-the-box SharePoint list, which we're going to group uh, using a grouping view option. The second type of option is a little bit more customized, but it's a JSON formatting. Now, don't be too put off by this because there's actually plenty of examples online, free examples that people have published where you can just copy and paste um, their JSON formatting code into a formatted view of your SharePoint list. Um, and then the third option is the out of the box page section. So this is no longer driven by a list, but actually pages um, of content. There is, of course, you can go more advanced options. So you could use something like Canvas Power Apps um, or even using something like SharePoint SPFX to provide uh, a more cascading kind of drop down option, which is really custom. But in this session, we're going to be looking at things you can easily achieve uh, out the box yourself without needing to know anything about uh, custom coding or anything like that. So the first option is to look at doing something um, with uh, a out of the box list. So let's say we're going to put this on one of our department sites. Let's go to our marketing site. And let's say we're going to add our FAQs at the bottom of this page. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a SharePoint list. So if I click on the cog and then click on site contents. I can actually then click on this new and then list button here. Now we could actually create um, from an existing list if we've already got FAQ list somewhere else. Um, or there's some different kind of sort of styles and options of different type of lists down here, which is worth knowing if you're creating lists for any other purpose. But I'm actually going to just start off by creating a blank list. I'm going to call this my FAQs. And um, I'm going to say keep in the site navigation and click on create. That's then going to create me my list. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to change this, this column here called title just to question. So I'm going to change this and rename it. And I'm going to change this from title to question. And then I'm going to add another column. And this is where we can see different types of things. So we've got single line of text, which is a small piece of text, multiple lines of text, which is what I'm going to use uh, because it's much larger. But there's other things we can add in here is like yes, no's um, or person. So it might be that a frequent asked question. It might be we would say um, who's the best person to contact about this. So we can add a person field into there. There might be choices, so we might want to say what category of FAQs it is, and then we could order or filter by certain categories. But I'm just going to add this multi lines of text, and then I'm going to say this is going to be my answer field. And click on save. And then all I need to do is now is just add a couple of different questions and answers in here. So I'm just going to put in here how do I XYZ? And then in the answer field, I'll say all you need to do is. XYZ. And then we'll just do that a couple more times. How do I ABC? Just copy that down a couple of times. ABC. And then maybe the last one. How do I 1, 2, 3? So these are just general kind of FAQ questions for our department. And it can be anything you like. Then we click on exit grid view. So now we've got our list of questions. Now if I click on this drop down here, I can click on group by question, which then means you can see here, I've now got these grouped. Now, um, what I want to do is actually save this as a, as a separate view so that I can link back to this on my homepage. So on the drop down up here, I'm gonna click on save you as. I'm just gonna call this my FAQs view. And it's gonna be a make, this, uh, make a public view. There's some other things as well that I might want to just sort of tidy up. So actually, um, I, I don't necessarily need to have um, the, the sort of question now that it's grouped on here. So I can click on this drop down, click on column settings, uh, and then click on show hide columns, and then unhide the question. So now I just see the answer in that way. Um, so once I'm happy with that, I could add some more columns. As I say, it might be that I want to have a, a useful contact for this question or something like that. 
Um, the other thing that you might want to do is actually have it so these are actually closed by default. Now, a way to ensure this will happen uh, is to click on the drop down and click on edit current view. And then when you scroll down under group by, you're going to see by default it's going to be expanded. So we're just going to say this is going to be collapsed. Then we click on OK. And then this will automatically be collapsed. So it will be a case of someone opening up these FAQs. So now to display this on my department homepage, I just go back to my homepage, click on edit. Let's say, for example, we're going to add a, a section in between these to display it. So we'll click on the plus here, click on one column, and then we're going to add in here a list web part. And we're going to select our FAQs list. And from this options up across at the top, we're then going to select the view as the FAQs view. Click on apply. And that's as simple as that. We can do things like maybe showing and hiding the command bars, but then when we republish this, hit republish, we've now got this FAQs appearing on our department page. So this is nice and simple. This is a, this is the easiest, quickest option um, for producing an FAQ. So that was option one, creating a group list. Now let's take a look at the second option, which is a JSON formatted list. Now before we create our list, I'm just going to show you the GitHub where I found a really cool example of an FAQ format. Now, as I said before, you don't need to be able to have to write code yourself. There's plenty of really cool examples out there that you can um, find some samples as a starting point. So I found this FAQ and I'll link this uh, as well in, in the description. Um, and basically all you need to do uh, is go to this link and you'll be able to find in here the um, the sort of prerequisites, so the README kind of file. So the, th the things that you need to sort of create um, will be, we'll have a title field, uh, we'll need an answer field, and you don't actually have to use the keywords if you if you don't want to, so um, you don't necessarily need to use the, these, these fields, but if you wanted a keyword where you can actually have a highlighted piece of text, so when you click on it, it would automatically open that up, you would need these additional fields. But I'm just gonna just do a basic kind of FAQ to start with. So now I'm gonna go back to um, my lists, and I'm going to create a new list. So click on the cog, site contents, list, blank list, and I'll call this FAQ. Show the site navigation bar again. But this is a new list. So I'm just going to cross reference what fields I need. So I need the title field, but I also need an answer field, which is going to be multiple lines of text. So again, click on add column, multiple lines of text. And answer. Click on save. And again, I'm just going to need to have a, a couple of entries in here so I know that it's working. So again, title, and with the power of time travel, I've automatically just added these quickly. So I just pause the video whilst I'm creating those so you don't need to watch me create them. So I'm going to click on exit grid view and now I've got my uh, my data in here. So now I'm going to create a new view. So I'm going to click on the drop down, click on save view and again I'm just going to call this FAQ. It's easy for me to find later on. The next thing I need to do is go back to uh, the, the uh, JSON formatting area and inside of the FAQ you'll see that there's a FAQ format JSON. So you just need to select on that link and then select everything that's inside of here. Make sure you've got all of this selected. And I'm going to do a control C and copy, or you could right click and say copy. Go back into your SharePoint list and then under FAQ, click on the drop down and then select format current view. Click on advanced mode and then just select all of that, delete and paste in what you just copied. Click on preview and then you see the style then appear. Click on save. And now if I go back to um, my home page um, and I'm going to go back to my FAQ section, I'm going to click on edit and then I'm going to actually just update this web part to say I'm going to look at my other list, which is the FAQ list and the FAQ view, which is the other the list view that I've just created. Then click on apply and that will then automatically apply my FAQ view to that. So that's just another way of using this, using custom JSON that somebody else has created and kindly posted online, and then we formatted our SharePoint list with that. So that was our second option, so JSON formatting. 
Uh, as I say, there's plenty of examples online where you can find people who have um, created JSON formatting that you can use to format your lists. Now, the third option is using out of the box page section. So well, let's jump in and take a little look at a page. So going back to this section in here, now every page inside of modern SharePoint as you're editing it is made up of multiple sections. So you can see we've got one section across the top with the hero web part in it. This is a section and this is a section. So I can add more multiple sections by clicking on the add section button here. So first off, I'm just going to delete this section. I'm going to start adding some new sections. So I add a new section and let's say, for example, this FAQ, I'm going to have it as two um, kind of, sort of columns. So maybe you can have a one column, two columns, three columns, one third left where the column on the right is slightly bigger and one column is smaller on the left or one third right is vice versa or full width. In this case, um, I think I'm going to go with an option of having a one third right option. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this section and say make this section collapsible, which gives me a section name. So this section then I can I can make this my actual FAQ question. So I can say how do I X Y Z, and then in here I can click to add some new web parts. I'm going to click to add the text web part, and I'm going to say this is how you do X Y Z. And in fact, just to fill it out a little bit, I'm just going to post this a couple of times. Just so it looks like it's a real kind of answer. And then I'm going to add an image into here. So on this side, I can add any web parts I like, but sometimes just putting in a little image um, will make your sort of FAQ stand out a little bit more. So we'll just put in anything into here for now. There we go and you can scale that image as well so if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger or smaller you can select it and you can actually sort of move that around so you can make that bigger smaller to kind of fit the space that it's in the sections as well you can change the, the colors so i can make this gray or purple depending on what my kind of theme is and then i can also duplicate this so um we can maybe duplicate this a couple of times and then maybe i said how do i abc put this in again how do I one, two, three? Change the images if we wanted to. Um, there we go. And the other thing as well to think about is you can also have the the status of whether it's expanded or not set by default. So it might be that the first one that you want to have open, but actually the other ones by default, you're going to have collapsed just to make it a bit easier for people to see as they first open it. So now if I republish my page, I can then see this is what my FAQs look like. So I can see the first one. So open the page, land on here, scroll down. I can see how do I X, Y, Z and actually uh, you can then expand these out further so you can see the full kind of FAQs in this way. You can also see, you can see that there's a hyperlink. So if you hover over you, there's actually hyperlinks to this. So you could even choose to anchor a link, for, say, from one of these buttons across the top if you had quite a lot of FAQs or from a completely separate SharePoint page. So that was the third option, which is the out-of-the-box page sections. So there are three options then for creating real simple FAQs with inside of SharePoint Online. As I said, if you wanted some real advanced options which don't cover that, you could go down the route of creating a Canvas Power App and embedding that into SharePoint. You could go down the route of creating a custom SPFX web part, which is a completely bespoke web part yourself. If you have any questions about creating some FAQs or customizing SharePoint, then feel free to reach out to me with any of your questions.